Today I'm making this short video to demonstrate how to use the LCR meter that's available in 1056. And uh, this may be something that will help you if you're having trouble figuring out the, uh, the uh, impedance of your circuit or if you just need to find out um, the capacitance or the inductance of a particular component. Um, so if you look at the LCR meter, I have it started up here. It's giving me a display reading for um, the, uh, the series inductance and the series resistance. And uh, this is a very, very nice instrument because we can also find out the resistance and reactance of uh, individual components or for an entire circuit. Um, we have these four test leads and two of the test leads, uh, so you have, you have your high and low side and then you also have the potential, which are indicated with these little V-tabs on them, and the current probes. So you have the voltage and current probes, high and low side. And whenever you connect to a component, you're going to have to connect all four. So it's a little clunky, but uh, you'll get used to it. So say I want to measure the value of this inductor here. All right. uh, the thing to remember is you want to connect the voltage probes closer to your component and then the current probes further out. All right, so let me go ahead and do the, the voltage and current probe on the high side and voltage and current probe on the low side. I connect it. So here it gives me the, the actual reading, as you can see, 572 micro henrys and um, a resistance of 1.26. It, it's a real component, so it'll, it'll have some uh, resistance as well. And uh, so, okay, that gives me the value for my inductor. If I want to measure the value of a different, uh, say I have a capacitor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to measurement setup, and then I'm gonna go to my function here I can change it to series capacitance and along with the series resistance here. So I'm going to measure a capacitor instead. I'm going to switch to that. Now let me go back to the display format. It'll show me a readout here. So let me switch components. I'm going to pretend that we don't know what the value of this capacitor is. So let me switch here the sides. Again, the voltage probe, the voltage test lead will be closer to the component that I'm the device the, that I'm testing, and the current probe will be further away. So I can go ahead and connect it here. Um, one microfarad and 3.2 ohms. Uh, so that's a measurement just for a particular component. But maybe I want to measure the resistance and reactance across a whole uh, circuit. So we'll, we'll construct a simple circuit here, utilizing some known values. But in this case, you might not know the values. You might just want to know what the entire impedance is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this 100 ohm resistor. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my inductor in series and then that'll connect to a 50 ohm resistor also in series and then a capacitor and we've already measured these capacitors and inductors so now I'm going to change the measurement setup and this, is my, this might be very helpful to do because you'll often be working with multi-SIM, so you want to confirm your multi-SIM values or your calculated values. I'm going to change this function to something else. I'm going to click here on More, and it'll allow me to have the readout, have the display show me the resistance and reactance, the total value. Let me actually expose this capacitor leg here so it'll make it easier, a little easier to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then let's say, you know, whatever you, you use on your function generator, uh, let's change to that frequency. Let's say I used uh, 15 kilohertz. 
and there is a limit on this uh, on this LCR meter. It goes from 20 hertz to I think uh, yeah one millihertz. So let's go ahead and connect our test leads and see what value we get. So I'm going to go to display format. It's not a the impedance is not a function of the voltage, so that doesn't matter. But we're doing it at 15 kilohertz. And again, this is just something to help you if you're having problems with your circuit and you just need a verified value. So this is my resistance and reactance, the total value. If you actually calculated uh, out these values individually, right, I do have 150 ohms of uh, re resistance between these two uh, resistors. And then um, it comes out to something like uh, 50, um, the, the inductive reactance is like around 50 or something like that, and then negative 10 for the capacitor. So um, obviously this is a much more accurate measurement. If you're, if you're doing this calculation in multi-SIM or on paper, you're really just using this device to verify uh, the values that you're getting. And it's going to save you some headache if you're really having issues with your circuit. So that's how we use it. Um, that's how we use the LCR meter that's available in 1056.